What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Empty here. Welcome to you back to some more Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. I almost said Danganronpa Trick and Harry Happy. Tripper. Tri wow, I cannot freaking talk, but it's fine. Because in today's episode, we're going to go be seeing some new peeps, figuring out what's going on, who we're going to talk to. Ah, about exploring the island. It appears the map of this island has been installed onto this e handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Action. To be honest, before I even arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Uh, you don't know? The school is so popular that there's a message board online dedicated to talking about its students. Then, I was also... Hmm, I actually don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. It is not your fault if I can't, if you can't really remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake. I was accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. Anyways, I'll help you out too. So why don't we begin making your introductions? Okay, you're right. First, I need to introduce myself to everyone else on this island. Oh, I should apologize. There's something I forgot to tell you. If you look at your map on your e handbook, you'll be able to see where everyone is. You can also. Instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Um, also, there is a travel. If you travel to a point with an exclamation mark, the story will progress. Okay, same like same as last time. It's super convenient. Now then, let's go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So same same premise. First island. Travel on the island can be done through this screen. You can move with the left stick, and you can run by holding the B button while you move. If you press the left stick left and right directional buttons you can instantly move to the next area with a radical when the radical responds you can go inside places by pressing the a button you're only if you've probably realized it by now but you but you happen to have your very own pet inside your em book your pet grows based off of a number of steps you take so try walking to places instead of using the map jump when you finish raising your pet, there'll be a small reward. <clears throat> Man, it has the ranch. We're going to go to the ranch. Usami Corral. This looks like a ranch. Though there aren't many animals around. Ah, you found it out. You again. Seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to a handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick? She's talking about the toy she's holding? Hmm. Uh, still, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows? Like, it's like a soccer team without any balls. You might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty. Just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. She about to change that chicken to a cow. Oh my god, she really is. What? Huh, a huge success. What was that just now? A chicken changed into a cow? Nah, it's probably some sort of illusion. I bet it was a setup before we got here. She's probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hayame. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it would make sense. A chicken can't just change to a cow. With Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? Is there really? Okay, no, there is multiple. Oh, there's a toucan. I need to. Hi, toucan. Hi, toucan. I love you. The tropical bird. What? It, what is that? I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Yo. Hey, who are you, dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hayame Hinata. Gotcha. And who's this other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? Already met? 
Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names. I've met so many interesting characters today. I'm Nakito. If you can... Please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane nice to meet you. Oh, Akane. Hi, Akane. The ultimate gymnast. I don't know how you can... I should leave that statement. I should leave that statement. I really should leave that statement. Where That should not have escaped from my mouth. Holy frick. Hello. John's statement's being like... <laughs> Y'all know what I was about to say, but, you know, it's fine. It's okay. I definitely... You know, it's fine. <laughs> Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the chart. However, her basic... And fundamentals are all over the place. So her gymnast routines are mostly improvised. If she gives, she's in her groove, she performs splendidly. But if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even then, she called up the ultimate gymnast. Or she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason. So her performances must be amazing to see. Clearly. I, it's definitely her gym. It's definitely be her being a gymnast. 100%. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. Are we sure about that? Are we sure that's the physique she has? What? Huh? Don't tell me you... Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? Calling me out like that, huh? Okay, got it. You're being really loud. I know you're you're doing that on purpose. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all of her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Hayame. Hmm. The ultimate dancer. It says traditional dancer, but... She has to stop pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what is she doing? And her appearance and voice is so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. Seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japan dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. Ugh, don't tell me that. Please don't tell me that. That's not, No, don't tell me that. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably have all this, have the same niche or something. No! No! We can't talk about that, Hayame! No! <laughs> hey, exactly what are you doing? Hmm? I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ant, of course. I'm squishing a lot of Mr. Ants. Come again? <laughs> if you squish their tummies just right, it makes an awesome sound. Want to do it together? Heck no. Aw, okay. You wuss. This kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. I think that's it. Usami Corral, huh? Guess it's a ranch. How can the rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I shouldn't think about it too hard anyway. This all is the hotel suite. Rocket Punch Market. Who's here? Obviously, I'm going to have to go back the way I came. So, this is a supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean that we have inter we're have we in international waters? Right. Thanks to this place, we don't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? It it's just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee that here anything here is edible. What if all this stuff's poison? What? 
Pom. You certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am. Even this supermarket is strange. Look around. We're in a gigantic supermarket, and there's nobody else except us. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is un in uninhabited? That's exactly my point, though. Ugh. What happened? It's nothing. She's staring at me funny. Uh, um, um, you know... I, I... <laughs> Why is she crying? Boying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. I, I didn't do anything. Uh, so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Uh, of course. I don't mind you remembering it, but... Oh god, this is I, this gives me Sudane vibes. This just gives me su the ultimate nurse. Oh my gosh. No. Oh. oh, why are we on auto? There we go. That fix it. Oh, I can get rid of the thing. Why? What would make me want to get rid of that? That's sketchy. Um, my mind is drawing a blank from nervousness, and I want to go through, I went through all the trouble of preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time. Remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever, if that's what it takes. <laughs> Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well... I guess if I ask you, since I won't get anywhere asking her, so... What's her deal? Ah, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help. So it is best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded, don't treat it. And there's a good possibility... If you, and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid naturally. Uh, I'm sorry for laughing all of a sudden. It's just, I can't help it. I just get so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Uh, not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so, so, so sorry. And I said something so presumptuous. I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Bullying a girl. Jeez. Not cool, Hajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? I'm so, so, so sorry. Level up. I did kind of... This kind of piqued my interest, so I was curious what that is. So, some military goods, huh? They carry even night vision goggles? Can't believe the supermarket would sell stuff like this. This is probably if we want to go surfing or something. It's a surfboard. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. Nor am I. Manu Mall. Okay, so this is probably our, um, like... Mana, the Mono Mono machine from the first game. It's one big cola bottle. I bet it'd go flat before you can even finish drinking it. Yeah, probably. Oh, hi! Uh, who are you? Um, I'm Hayame Hinata. Your tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? Oh. Ah, that's right. Introductions are a go-go. I am Buki Mia. Oh. Ibuki Miyota. Cool. That actually... Okay. I kind of like Ibuki because Ibuki actually sounded out her name. She straight up was like, this is who I am. Don't wear it out. I'm gonna... She's like that cool chick. That's just like, you you hang out with her, you know what you're expecting from her. You're expecting a fun time, doing your thing. Just, that is what you expect from Ibuki. Or Ibuki. As I'm pronouncing it wrong now. I'm so happy I pronou she pronounced her name. Proceeds to pronounce it wrong. You know I'm going to watch this back because I need to pronounce, pronounce her name. Ibuki. 
the ultimate musician. Oh, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Actually, I'm down for this. Like, again, the, the rocker chick that's out here to have fun. All right, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili bean, bratwurst, pasta, and oh my gosh, they have melons. Americans, Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Europe should shop here. Man, I'm getting hella stoked. I am 31 flavors of stoked. Oh my god, that was a Baskin Robbins joke. Oh my god, I love you already. Uh, <laughs> don't die on me. Do I swear to God, don't die on me. You made a freaking Baskin Robbins joke. I'm here for you. Ugh. Okay. You the, again, this is the girl I would hang around. 100 percent Oh my gosh. And when I'm getting excited, I am I get hungry mongry. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? Kia! The human body is sure a mystery. Uh, the energetic musician. A young lady known as the ultimate musician. We already got that. We already, and we already know that. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band. That was super popular with the other high school girls. Oh my gosh, it's Sayaka. Don't... Play me like a fool. And don't make her die first. I s I am get I'm, I'm getting like paranoia from the first game. <sighs> okay. Apparently they hit single after after school poyoing on hour sold over a million copies. The super popular all girl high school band. That sounds familiar. I know the, 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 the we didn't need what well, no. <laughs> No! Don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! Due to the creative differences, she left the band to pursue her solo career. Okay! We are getting a difference here. Because Sayaka really, really didn't want that. Sayaka wanted to do the thing. She wants to pursue her own pathway, and we're here for it. Creative differences. Are you interested? What? You could hear me? <laughs> Duh! Ibaki's a magician after all. Such a sh like Sherbert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Senna. I am a stew. I too am an awesome musician. Um, so you're saying you have good hearing? Of Duh! If you're the like, musicians have to have good hearing, okay, Hayame? It's just how it works. I play clarinet, saxophone, tenor saxophone, bass clarinet, violin. I, I, I played a whole shoop ton of instruments. You have to have a good ear because you need to know if something's out of tune. Uh, gosh. Uh, wait, most people you mentioned weren't even musicians. Yeah, I noticed that too. But she's comparing her artistry talent, okay? You know, Van Gogh is an artist. Music is a form of art. It's fine. Go with it. She's chill. We're okay. Don't sweat the details. Honestly, like... Don't you don't have to sweat the details on that one, okay? We stand her, and that's all that matters, right? We actually found a character so far that we like a lot, which scares me a lot. But you know, we pretend it doesn't scare me because I don't have PTSD from the first game. It's fine. Monica didn't do a great job at giving me PTSD or anything. It's okay. What? What did we get? airport who would be in the airport who would want to be in the airport okay this is blocked off that makes sense oh oh this seems sketchy airplanes couldn't we just use those planes to escape the island nah it's impossible they were damaged I could fix them but it looks like these planes are just for show just for show. Oh! Is he an aviator? Like the ultimate aviator? The engines have completely been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. He's either the ultimate aviator or the ultimate mechanic. Which, I'm down for either. We need any, We need one of those skills. Completely removed. Whoever brought us to this island has also, must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling this stuffed animal you saw me. 
or Usami. But who is doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? It's more, the more that I think about it, the less sense it makes. Right. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't even introduced ourselves, right? I'm, the ultimate mechanic. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. Kazuyuchi? Okay, I'm really going to need, like, Shtaisel and uh, KD uh, to correct my pronunciations because I do not want to butcher them for too long. I feel like I butchered them so much in the first game. Like, we need to nip some of my mispronunciations in the bud real quick. Kazuichi, the ultimate mechanic. Technically, I could just call him Soda because his last name is Soda. That would be... But then it's, like, weird because I'm first name basically seeing everybody else except for Soda. And that just seems weird to me, too. As expected. So, someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazuchi, is a servant. Or, uh, is a, sorry, is a servant. Is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it truly is beyond repair. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so, too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? Clearly. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're actually being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh... It, uh, th that was mentioned in the safety progressions for the school trip. Remember the school trip guidelines when written in the e handbook Okay, now it's going to tell us that. Regulations. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please leave peaceful, leave, live peacefully and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist on this island with this island's bountiful nature in a mutual prosperity. Lead the t the lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made when student uh, any student will violate said rule. It looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? Ugh. I don't... Okay. Is a, is a Sami like the false... The false hope. Because giving false hope is almost worse than despair, right? Like, it's goodbye despair because Monokuma is in the background, like, dealing with Asami and all the other things. But Usami's giving these students false hope for it to shatter later when they realize what they're in isn't what they think they're in. And so then it creates more of a dystopian situation. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. That's what Usami said earlier. It seems these rules keep us in place to do that. Are you saying you believe that what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know. Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know. Yes, as the pessimistic one. Duh. I, I'm really not trusting Nagito right now because he's like, he's really playing this. This he is really playing angles in a silly way, right? Because. He's like, oh, I look at things from a pessimistic lens. Oh, but she should be more optimist. Oh, we should help this. We should do this. Oh, I'm the ultimate lucky student, so I was just brought here. Like, mm. like, it's weird because it's like I'm playing angles in a... I'm playing in a completely different angle, right? Because with Makoto, right, you are the ultimate lucky student. So you kind of are the one that is raving the suspicion, Right? Like, you are lucky. You're not necessarily meant to be there. That's kind of how I feel like Nikito is. He isn't meant to be here, right? His, but like, why is he here? What, like, what is going on with him? And then him flipping back and forth on his perspectives on things, I don't like. I, again, I'm one of those people that am upfront, honest and everything about things. So like, you being the, like, in playing angles already this early is sketchy. But it's okay. Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. But you just said literally 10 minutes ago that, or not 10 minutes ago, but like the first episode that you look at things in a pessimistic lens. So why, why are you now trying to make me optimistic? Like 
wouldn't you be okay with me looking at a pessimistic lens because you would agree with that? Yeah, it just feels off. It does. I'm sorry. It just does. Well, I guess it's okay if we enjoy our vacation and see this whole thing and how this whole thing plays out right. Yeah. If you stare closely at a strange-looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute, huh? I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. See, but, I mean, it does. I mean, it makes sense for the mechanic to be carefree. Like, the, it makes sense for the students to be carefree in this situation, and I get that. Like, some of the students are going to be like, oh, we're this tropical island. It's fine. It's chill. Like, I could definitely see Soda being that carefree mechanic going in to work every day, pulling that 9 to 5, coming home, doing the mundane tasks, and starting over again. That makes sense to his personality. And I'm fine with that. But to say you're pessimistic and then be like, you need to be optimistic. You need to be more like, not me. It's like, that feels off to me. Don't suspect anything. I'm the only one that's supposed to suspect things. Like, no, that's not how this works. Anyways. Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Huh? Huh. I'd stay back, but oh very well. I shall accept the courage of yours. What is this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage is reckless, but however, I welcome it. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. The ultimate breeder? Rule this world. He's kidding, right? He's actually serious. He's, he's, if he's actually serious, he's pretty out there. Now then, it is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Huh? Which tribe did you make the pact with? Answer me! Huh? What do you mean by make a pact? Answer me now. Answer me now. Val, I shall cast you into the watery grave once you do. Then it is best I don't answer? I think he is asking... If you used to have a pet. Pet. No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. So a mere insect? Ha, huh, your magic essence caps at a lowly five. Trash. Trash, really. Huh, it is wrong to call trash trash. Trash like you should be not dare to speak to one as grand as me. Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of the ice. Hold on a minute. Something is so strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire. Taming evil used to be my using by using myself as a bed. Truly is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. It's like it's like something you see in a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of the ultimate breeder. One of my four dark divas of destruction, Mirage, Golden Hawk, jump! Has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us if we're angry. <laughs> Obtained a health fragment. Um, yeah. I know he seems a, a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. <laughs> I've heard... He can tame any animal. He's managed to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it you, he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals. That's he, Well, he's certainly eccentric enough to be in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. What I need to do... Is... First, let's check this out. To go as far as completely remove the plane's engine. Do they want to keep us here that badly and for what purpose? Okay, I need to get the um the settings because the the music's too loud. Uh 
Oh, that's how I can see Pat. That's interesting. System options. Hopefully that's better, because, yeah, the voices are very quiet, to me at least. I could be wrong, but I feel like they're quiet. Okay, this is where we loop back around. Okay. Oh, this is one that we didn't go to. But my guess is that there was nothing else here. Yeah, okay, I thought, I figured I was sorely, I wasn't sorely mistaken on that. Cool. We haven't met very many people, though. I feel like, like I need to know like what I'm missing. Because I'm clearly missing a lot. But, like... Okay, so it's the hotel on the central island, right? Because this is, the next one's the, yeah. So... I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of people maybe in the hotel. Also, we're level 3 now. Hotel suite. Wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. The Hotel Meria, huh? It's named for the Japanese word future. When we were told to live in this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. If we can live in a ground hotel like this, I don't think we have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base, so why don't you look around it for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? He doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? A map will be displayed if you press the Y button. I said the Y button. Don't make me repeat myself. This looks like it's my room. This kind of just seems like a makeshift guest hotel room or hotel guest room. Biakia's son may be in here. No. Aha, so most of the students are in here. We need to just go front and center, because, yeah, that's where most of the students are hanging around. Ah, I said we're saving you for later, so, uh, nope. Oh my gosh, so many students... Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. This guy's already in a crappy mood. What are you looking at? You got something you want to say? Relax. Foo you, Hiko. We're the only here to introduce ourselves. What? Introduce yourselves. See, you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Foo you, Hiko. Foo you, Hiko. I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Ultimate Yakuza. What is that? I need to look up what that is. Or I need somebody to tell me. Even though he's got a baby face, he's incredibly rude. Fuyuhiko is a high school student and the heir of the Kuzu 
Ryu clan. The, Ku uh, the Kuzuryu clan. Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm sure you've already heard of them before, right? The Kuzuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000, which means he is the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to the Yakuza clan is... And it's the Kazu Ryu clan, no less. By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is extremely for expressly forbidden. So be you better be careful. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. But Nagito, you're like uh, my savior or something. <laughs> you're just exaggerating. Eh, guess not. If we're done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and F off. Okay, fine. Whatever. It's not like I'm going to interact with you, like, ever. I'm, like, going to try not to, at least. Hey. hey, aren't you guys that are squatting on the beach earlier, like, burying your faces, or you burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. You boy, hey, right? you've got to keep it together, you know. At times like this, it's a boy's job to keep the girls safe. You're, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Did you want to introduce yourself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. Let me see. Mahiro. Mahiro is the ultimate photographer. Okay. Action. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I am not an expert in photography, but I hear that she's the young photographer that has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. Ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there's a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Aww. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Honestly, I'm a little relieved you guys did seem decent enough. Um, decent. Well, there's a lot of weirdos here, and I can't tell if they're really ultimates or just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off to this island, but I am worried that things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? You don't know? That's what that stuffed animal was saying. You can finish collecting if you after you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you can earn by getting along with everyone. This joke of a school trip will be over, and we can all leave all this island together. That's all we have to do is so we can and go home. Is that true? Does she, does she really mean that? Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Well, Hayame, now that you know this, you must feel, like, a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island is soon enough so there's no reason to act so panicky even so what is the reason why do we have to do something like this i mean to go through all the effort of bringing us here so that we can all live together and get along it doesn't make any sense i may not know why we're here but if that's all we have to do to go home then that's all there is to it Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's not really not it's really not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal, really. We're told we're on a school trip without any warning and then have it we're taken to this place and we're then we're told to forget about Hope's Peak Academy. Is he sure that this isn't a big hey. deal? Hey. Uh don't eh me. What about your introduction? I've been waiting like forever, you know. Ah, uh, sorry. I am a Hayame. Um, nice to meet you. I see. Hayame? Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note that you to remember you as unreliable Hayame. It's going to be tough for you to change my mind. You can be better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hayame. I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? I guess you're next. I wanted to save you for last, but it's fine. How tall is he? I guess technically we'd be able to see that soon. Hmm. That's right. You haven't told me your name. Oh, My name. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. Nekomaru. The ultimate team manager. What team do you run? I need to know a little bit more. Um, hello. I am Hayame Hinata. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there. Your voice is too soft. Let me 
let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Um, I'm Hamare, or Hamaye Hinata. No, you can be louder than that. Do it again. My name is Hinata, Hamaye Hinata. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Don't forget it. Even if you go to hell. I am the ultimate team manager. Nekumaru Naidi. Alright, that was terrible. But Nekumaru. You don't need to repeat your name so much. I won't forget it. <laughs> I agree to your terms. He is sure is boisterous. But it's, n it's not just his voice. His whole body seems loud. Exactly. You get me, Hayame. Anyways. Yep. Nekumaro is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager. If he's a team manager, that usually means they're older. Woo! He's not on the team. He just manages one. Exactly. He's he's not just a team manager. After all, he is an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs and managing their teams. For instance, he once led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to a victory in the national playoffs. He has re rescued a baseball team on the or a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to a national victory as well. Rumor has it he's even training the famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. We're talking about Shohei Otani, okay? <laughs> we, I love that. I love that they can't use Shohei Otani's name, but like, <laughs> when? Okay, I need to know because when did Shohei Otani actually go into the ML MLB? Because I feel like that actually lines up pretty well. Shohei Otani career start. He started playing in 2013. Ah! <laughs> Let's go. I know my trivia. <laughs> and he was playing for the Los Angeles Angels at that point. I know that because, you know, division rival. But, you know, I freaking... Let's go. <laughs> I know my sports trivia. Okay, game. Like, you can quiz me all you want on that. But it's fine. It's cool. If that's true, then he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager. But... You trained Shohei Otani, and, uh, yeah, see? So if you train Shohei Otani, who was, like, probably 20 at the time, means you're definitely in the age range! But with a build like that, he's better off playing on a team instead of managing it. No, because if he's managing the team... Anyway, can't... This is fine. Fine. Oh, my... No, no comment. No comment. How? T what, first off, how tall is he? But no comment. Um, I can't. I refuse to comment. Um. Mm -hmm. It's first because of us, okay? It's fine. Don't, 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 don't do that to me, okay? How? How tall are you? Six four two sixty eight. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Likes. Freshly washed towels. I'll wash all your damn towels. I don't. I. I, I don't care. You're. You're a Pisces. I love Pisces. I get along with Pisces. My one of my best friends is a Pisces. Dislikes lazy people. I am down for that. Let's. I can actually. You know. Let's. We. We've talked to a lot of these people, so I guess we can kind of narrow it down. We'll spend an episode narrowing down these people, but like. Woo! I'm getting jittery. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. I'm definitely not blushing. It's okay. It, that, that What I saw makes sense now. It's totally okay. No, it's not. I just saw, but it's whatever. We just ignore the fact that I saw what I saw. You know? We just gotta ignore it. Totally. I'm not gonna ignore it. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> we, I can't. I straight up won't be able to ignore it. Literally. Like, uh, no, no, no. This old building is in the middle of the renovation project. You cannot go inside. It's dangerous, you know. But that's where... <sighs> no. 
showing up out of nowhere is even more dangerous. I am sorry, but that's where my best friend and I are going to go. Okay? That is exactly where Nekomaro and I am going to go have a fun time. You can't stop me, Usami. I'm, you're not allowed to stop me from my inhibitions. Isn't, aren't you supposed to give me my false hope? I can't have my false hope if you don't let me have it. I'm glad. Even, yeah, even inside of this school's place looks so grand too. It was a really normal high school trip, but why are we the only ones in this hotel? It is an inhibited island, so it can't be helped. But for uninhibited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems electricity won't be an issue. This world is going to... is What in the world is going on with this island? I don't know why I'm talking to more people. Oh, okay. Well, I just want to introduce myself. Is that all right with you? An introduction. Understood. Understood. I don't mind. I'm hi I am Hayame. Nice to meet you. The ultimate swordsman. Actually, this is a dignified looking woman. She is known as the ultimate swordsman. It, it is hard to believe someone with a cute name like Pekko could be a skilled with the blade. I've heard she's a kendo master, and that is what most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her, and her eyes are really intense. If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Do not try anything inappropriate. Oh, don't worry. I, I'm, I'm gay, honey. Uh, don't You don't have to worry about that. Um, You know, the only... Nekomaru has to worry about that, not you. I would prefer not to kill anyone. I mean, as long as it's not Nekomaru, it's fine. You know, if I find out Nekomaru makes an advance on you, I will literally... It'll be fine. You can mark him. I don't. No, you don't. Please don't. Please don't. I'm not. I'm not, not being serious. I'm. I'm really not being serious. I. I stand him, and him. But you know, it's okay. <laughs> Kill. Isn't that the sword on your back? Isn't that the sword on the net back? I can't even. I'm. I am literally just thinking of Nekomaru. I'm just thinking of Nekomaru. Okay. I'm sorry kill isn't the sword on the back made of bamboo yes. i thought it may seem impossible to kill someone with this with it but with this a miss aim below can be fatal mm. well an aim below can be fatal too i'll keep that in mind oh aim for the miss aim i see you i see you peko and then we'll talk to this chick and i think that's where we'll end this episode There's some girl playing an arcade game, and she looks completely absorbed by it. Oh, the ultimate gamer! Hajime. Hajime, you haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on the game, but I guess I should try and talk to her. Um, excuse me. I'd like to introduce myself. Stone Cold. Hey. Chiaki! Oh, sorry. I must have been a little too focused on my game. It's okay, you're a gamer. I get it. It's fine. A little. Are you sure about that? Uh, let me see. Introductions. Got it. I'm Chiaki Minami, the Ch ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genre. We can get along then! I'm a multifaceted gamer as well! <laughs> Except for shooters. I'm terrible at those. So, like, if you want to train me in that, I'm fine with that. I got Nekomaru to train me in some other thing, and I got you to train me in shooters. It's gonna be It's gonna be a great time. Nice to meet you, too. And then I got, um... Idok... I oh, God. Idiaki. I can't pronounce her name. Oh, my God. We're gonna... I need, a pronou uh, I need a pronunciation session is what I need to, like, let loose and have fun with. So, like, those are my three characters right now that I'm just... I'm chilling with. Peko, I could chill with. Like, a lot of these characters I could chill with, to be honest. 
Funny enough, the only one that I don't like 100% right now is the one toting me around. But, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I am Hayami Hinata. Nice to meet you, too. Yep. Yeah, totally. Seems like this conversation is going rather slow. Oh, she's gaming right now. Yeah. It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. I feel that! Except for the fact that when I'm commentating... I, like, okay, this is where... Co uh, 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 full transparency. This is where content versus regular me is. Because in content, I have to be continuously talking. I have to rattle off what's in my head, right? So, like, I can't just sit back and think. But if you actually get to know me in person and get to talk to me like in an actual setting i am very much like this i it i like being independent i like being on my own and that's why i love the job that i have right now because i am i am independent i am by myself if i want to talk to people i can talk to people if people come ask me a question it's in a one-on-one -on -one setting where i can actually think before i speak and do all the things beforehand i feel that hard chiaki like i can't talk unless i've already prepared everything in my own head i i vibe with that so much okay especially when meeting new people well if i get used to them i usually talk a little bit faster again i vibe with that that i mean that's why i rattle 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 off on my youtube videos and stuff because i i, I I'm comfortable. I'm fine where, where, where I'm at. So I'm just rattling off what I need to say. Blah, 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 blah. But like, so I feel that. Okay. She's a little focused on her game and she hasn't really looked at me at all. But she may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? Well, since we've met uh, most of the people, most of the cast, um, and this, um... The thing I'm going to be focused on because it's the first week of the month that I do not why do not don't ask me why I started a playthrough like this on the first week of the month. It's fine. You know, I just wanted to have some fun and this is what we're here doing. But yeah, anyway, love you all so much. Thank you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one when we kind of meet the last leg of characters, hopefully. But we'll see you guys then. <laughs>